Hey guys, Sarah from Aaron's Outdoor, and in today's video, I am doing some fishing at a river that I fish a lot, and I wanted to try a lure that I've never caught a fish at in this particular river, and that is the Nico Helgramite. This is a lure that, you know, I've, I've seen John from Creek Fishing Adventures use a ton, and I really hadn't gained confidence on until this year, so I've had a couple river floats this year, where I've caught a bunch of fish on this lure, um, and I've definitely gained some more confidence on it, so I thought I might as well try it out at this river here today. And I will say this river is kind of fast flowing. Like I'm going after shoal bass that, you know, a lot of them will be in the current. So I don't love fishing this in current. I would ideally would fish this like next to current or just like slower moving current. Uh, but I still think it will work in this river today if I make the right cast. And uh, anyway, let's try to uh, catch some fish. There's a fish. Oh man, he got away. I think that was my uh, that was my second cast. This does look like a good little spot. My first cast, I just casted right in front of me. But that was a little fish, little bass. I'm assuming. I don't know if it was a spot or shoaly or what, but it's a good sign. It's a fish. I thought it was stuck. I couldn't tell. Ooh, okay. I think it's got to be a shoaly. The way he's fighting, man. Okay, well, I lost one a few casts ago. And that one was my second cast. Uh, this was probably like my fifth or sixth cast. Well, maybe I should have used the uh, Nico Helgramite in this lure, or in this river, a little sooner. Alright, well there's a little, uh, probably 12 incher. Probably a little less than a pound. But he fought so hard in the current. That's just kind of what these shoal bass do. They're real fun to catch in these rivers and strong current and stuff. So there he goes. There's a nice one. Ooh, there's a nice fish. There's a nice fish. Good shoal bass. Okay, that's a nice one. See like a pound and a half probably. Okay, maybe not a pound and a half. Man, I usually don't fish at this particular spot, but seems like there's some fish here for sure. It's probably a pound and a quarter, maybe pushing a pound and a half. But another nice shoaly, and man, he was just fighting good. All right, and I've been out here for 12 minutes. I already got two bass, uh, and I missed one, so. I'm thinking this uh, Helgramite might have been a good decision. All right, just dip that fish in the water for a second. Um, I'm gonna weigh him real fast. I'm gonna guess a pound six ounces, just kind of in between a pound and a half and a pound and a quarter. Pound five, so. This guy's just over a pound and a quarter. Nice little, solid little fish. Oh, wrong way, bud. Okay, he just swam the wrong way. He swam onto the bank. There he goes. There's a fish. Ooh. It's a little deeper over here. He was out in the deep part. So, is it another Sholey? All right. That's a good sign. I mean, this rivers got a lot of shoal bass but there's definitely a lot of uh, invasive spotted bass in here too so the fact that i got three shoal bass and no spotted bass so far is a pretty good sign and when i was fishing this river earlier this week i caught three bass and they're all shoal bass so that's definitely good there's still a definitely a good population of shoalies in here this might be the shortest fish but he's got a little gut on him there he's definitely uh, feeding up Pretty good down there. There's one. Oh, don't come off. It's a little guy. Man, another Sholey. He's actually hooked. Yeah, he's hooked well. All right. Well, this is a good sign. I mean, just all these uh, sholies I'm catching. 
because it's usually a lot more mixed than this out of this river. Like I usually would have at least one spot of bass by now. But that is nice. I would much rather catch these sholies. It's now like four fish and uh, 35 minutes of fishing, so it's not bad at all. Fish. Ooh, it's a little better one. Uh, it's not that big, but it's bigger than the last one. I think it's a sholey, dude. Man. I don't know, they're just stacked up in this area today. You know, some days you'll have a tough day where it's hard to catch anything, and other days it just turns out to be better. Today so far has been great. I mean, I've already caught five shoal bass and probably like 40 minutes of fishing. Actually 38, I just checked my camera, so this was pretty much right after that last one. It's another fat one. And I'm definitely thinking, uh, I should have used the Nico Helgramite in this river a little bit sooner. I'm fishing it just like John does from Creek Fishing Adventures. Basically, you just sit there, you let it drift, you don't really do anything, you don't work it at all, and they'll just hit it because it looks like a natural uh, Helgramite just drifting down. But man, still surprised, no spotted bass so far. Oh, oh. Whoa. Look at that snake right there. I didn't see it, I'm not even sure where he went. It's uh, I'm pretty sure that was a banded water snake. It kind of looks like a copperhead, but I think it's just a banded water snake. Uh, I caught like five up there. There we go. Ooh. All right, that was the first spotted bass. I was really surprised that I had all shoal, all shoal bass before. All right, well, I walked down here because I thought this one little spot could be kind of good. And I just lost that one little spotted bass. Honestly, I think part of the reason I lost it is I felt it biting, but there were some tubers coming down right behind me. And I did not want to hook set and uh, miss the fish and then hit one of them. So I had it on there, but I did end up losing it. But I mean, that was like the smallest one of the day anyway. So as you can tell, the sky is kind of dark up there. So I'm going to go ahead and walk back up that way and uh, just fish my way back and fish until it starts thunderstorming. Well, it is really looking like it's going to storm now. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to fish at all. <laughs> wow. This storm came out of nowhere. I mean, it looked a little bit cloudy, but this really sprung up. There's a fish out from underneath that tree. Probably a little shoaly. All right. Well, it's the next day. And as you can tell, I got rained out yesterday. So the river is definitely a little higher than it was yesterday, but I mean, you know, it's a slightly muddier, but it's still, for the most part, it's not really muddy, so. I came back out with a Helgramite, thought I'd try it again since I did so well on it yesterday, and just got my first fish of the day, less than uh, 10 minutes in, so it's definitely a good sign. And that's yet another shoal bass, not a spotted bass, even though I did lose that little spotted bass last night. All right, well, I think I'm calling it here at the river. I was here for about an hour today, only caught one fish, and, you know, with fishing, Typically, it's supposed to be really good before storm, and then after storm, it's not supposed to be as good, um, which was definitely the case in this video. I had kind of forgotten that it was supposed to storm yesterday. Um, so after I caught a bunch of fish in this little area, or I caught like five uh, shoal bass, I walked way down the river to another deep hole and only lost one little fish, and that ended up wasting a lot of time. If I had remembered that it was gonna rain and I had stayed up at this one spot, I probably could have caught more, but Nonetheless, I was really pleased with how yesterday went, and I still managed to catch one shoal bass here at the river tonight, even though it was uh, a little bit high and a little bit murky. So that's not bad for the Helgramite. I mean, I'm definitely surprised at how well it did. I mean, I thought I'd probably catch some fish, but since yesterday was just really good, I'm definitely gonna have to use that Nico Helgramite some more in this river and probably the creeks around here too. So 
And for the most part, I was just uh, drifting it in current. I mean, at the beginning of the video, I was saying how I didn't like to fish it in current. And if the current is too strong, it's probably not great. But if you get like the right amount of current where it's just kind of drifting down at a slow pace um, and it looks real natural like that, I think it can be a really good lure, which was uh, the case yesterday. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. But I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.